Good morning. This is Tom Stiles, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And I've got kind of a kludged up setup here because I found something this morning about 15 minutes ago that I'm really excited about. And um, I wanted to show you. I didn't want to, you know, make a fancy presentation or anything. I just wanted to show you. And it's related to using one of those USB TV dongles to use as a wideband scanner. And I'm always looking for applications and things because there's a lot of them out there and more and more coming every day. And I happen to find this one, which really is kind of cool because it's so easy to use. Um, it's kind of new. I think it was released maybe beginning of the year. And what's interesting is it's very small and compact. And let me, um, I gotta get, uh, and what my setup is right now is my, I got this old laptop and that's the computer that I originally set up my TV dongles on. And, uh, I just haven't ever moved them. Well, I take that back. I set up, I made another setup. <clears throat> excuse me, on another computer with a TV dongle and my main computer uh, that I used for the internet died so I had to move that one to that, that and so on. Anyway, so right now what I'm showing you is my monitor um, of that laptop and normally what I would want to do is I would want to use my computer that I do to make my videos um, and use the screen capture software to do a better presentation. But it doesn't have the software and the setup for the TV dongles. So I thought, what the heck, I'm just going to move my webcam over here, take a picture of my laptop's monitor and try to show you this new exciting little program. So. That's that's why it's kind of a kludge, and the video is not that great. So I'm using the webcam from one computer to take video capture of a another computer that's running the software I want to tell you about. Do you follow that? Probably don't. I'm confused myself. But anyway, here here's my. Um, Here's my laptop screen, and um, the way I found out about this little program, <clears throat> and I'm, I just started using it, so I don't know all the ins and outs, um, is I get a Google alert. Google has a feature that you can tell it to look for things on the Internet, basically a Google search, and when it finds those mentions via a web page or a comment or whatever on the internet, it will send you an alert to say, hey, I found this at this website, which I got this morning, and it was from this website, Southgate, which is a great website for information about uh, amateur radio, shortwaves, etc. And they had this article, this was posted yesterday, about the uh, SDR, Software Defined Receiver, um, using one of these $20 TV dongles and using a Chrome browser application. Okay, you follow that? And then it gives you a link to that. And which is right here, I think. Uh, actually, no, that's not it. I've gone too far. Okay, let's just back up here. And here's the link down here. So I click on the link. And it tells you, you know, this is a GitHub is where people can post these little applications that they're working on. I found that via. Um, working with the Raspberry Pi because a lot of people post their Raspberry Pi applications on this website. 
and it's all kinds of applications for all kinds of equipment. This particular application is for Chrome. I don't know if you're aware of it, but you can have applications that run inside of Chrome. Chrome being an internet browser. Okay, so this is the one, and then it says, and here's actually the information here, or you can go to the Chrome store, and I'll click on this, and it will eventually get me there, and there is the Chrome store where it has applications that you can add to Chrome. And here is the application, which is Radio Receiver, and it's basically, basically a Chrome application, an application that runs inside Chrome, that will control your USB dongle. And let me see what I've got up here. Oh, that's just a support spy side. And then here is a users group that's been set up for this particular application that answers questions, tells you how to set it up. So, the one thing you have to do if you don't have one of these TV dongles and have it set up, say for SD Sharp, that's another program, standalone location. You have to uh, install these drivers right here, this Zadig drivers, and this person right here is telling telling you how to do how to do that. This is the author right here, and he's telling you how to set up those drivers. So if you go on um, eBay or Amazon and buy one of these twenty dollar dongles, you don't use the software that comes with the dog dongle. You use this set of drivers, the Zagdig drivers. You install those, and then you can run this Chrome application. Um, have I lost you? I uh, hope not. So anyway, I on this particular, like I said before, on this particular laptop, I already ha had those drivers installed because I have like SD Sharp and a couple other programs that work with the dongle. So I already had it running. So you then, if I go back here, and I gotta go back a little further. Okay, so then you uh, you then launch. I'm, this says launch application because I've installed it. Initially, when you go here, it will say something like add application. You add the application, and then it's a part of it's an app in your Chrome browser. Up here, right here, is where your apps reside in Chrome. So this is only going to work in Chrome. It's not going to work in the Internet Explorer. It's not going to work in um, some of the other ones. So now, so I've got that installed. I've launched it, and it's down here. And here it is. Now let me close this. I mean, I minimize that so that you can see it better. So here it is. And this is the interface. And it has a, a bunch of options and the gentleman who is working on this keeps adding more and more and more. Uh, for instance, I was reading where a guy was asking about an earlier version whether he was going to add a squelch control. Well, this latest version, there's the squelch control right there. So you can control this squelch. This is a wideband receiver. It will work um, from 30 megahertz to 1 or 2 gigahertz. Um, and if you have an up converter, it works down in the HF band. And what you do is you turn the up converter on, and then you put in the offset, and boom, voila, you got an HF receiver. But normally, the TV dongles only work on 30 megahertz and higher. And it's got a scan function, and you can manually change the frequency, or you can click on the current frequency and type in the frequency. This right now is at, believe it or not, 155 megahertz, 0.08, and a bunch of zeros. 
they change the step size, the step size of when you're hitting the frequency button or whether you're scanning. You could use it normally at default when you first install it. It defaults to an FM radio, so you can lift, listen to FM at 33 megahertz and up. But then you can change that to be other to to uh, tune other frequencies. And let me go back here for a second, and see if I can find it. Oh, there is a help screen here, and I'll click on it right now, which takes you to this page, and it tells you how to use it. it tells you all the options, how to use it, because initially it will only tune the FM band. So you have to go down and enable free tuning, and then you can tune any frequency. And these are all the options. I won't go into them um, too much detail. I just let you look at them here. And then it tells you how to set up your up converter. You can have presets. Um, you can turn stereo on and off. You can record. You can record what you hear on the radio into a WAV file. That's cool. So I won't talk about recording off the air because, well, everywhere. Anyway, you can do that. Okay, uh, what else? Then it shows you some more details here. Uh, let's see, number one. Yeah, this is the one thing I struggled with because I was putting in uh, like uh, 162.5 or I was putting in, yeah, I was trying to put in 162.5 and it wouldn't take it because it's in hertz. So you got to put a bunch of zeros in to get the frequency you want. And then you can change modes. Uh, and let me go back to it, show you that. Just click on modes, you can change the modes. He now has, which he didn't have originally, he has upper and lo lower sideband modes. Of course, that would mainly come into play if you have an up converter and listening to HF. And what else? Uh, I can say you can change the squelch. You can change the volume here. I got to turn down. Let me turn it up and see if we've got anything. Nope. Not at the moment. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. I had something on this frequency a few minutes ago, but as usual, when I'm trying to record something, uh, nothing's happening. Uh, I could turn the squelch off. You can hear a noise. Put that to zero. Yep. yep. Okay, let's turn the squelch back up. I had like 50, I think. There. I was hoping that transmission was, was still there. But come on. Somebody say something. Come on, be on my show. And uh, here's where you can save stations. I should have one there. Yeah, there's where I had the weather. There they are. So this is, uh, like I say, right now. Oops, I did it again. Um, right now I'm at 155.08 megahertz. Is where I'm at, which is uh, in the business band range. So, you know, you got to take a look at this. I'm really excited about this. And like I say, the only thing you have to do is you have to install those drivers, which if you go to uh, this users group, it tells you how to do that. Or uh, let me go back to... Doo -doo -doo. Uh, boom. So here's the users group. And it's called, uh, where is it, Radio Receiver. And uh, in one of the posts, the author tells you how to do this. And you can also just do a search on ZADIG drivers. And you can find the website that those are on. And it will tell you how to install those. It's like, I think, two or three files you just put on your computer in a certain place, and you're good to go.
So anyway, just wanted to show you that. If you enjoyed the show, please give me a thumbs up. And also, if you could take a few seconds and share my videos, I'd appreciate that. Um, and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.